Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. Um, uh, I'm here to plead with you so Southerners in uh, light of all this anti-Confederate flag uh, fear. I'm pleading with you Southerners, don't give up what's left of your uh, culture. Uh, first of all, Eliminating the Confederate flag will have no effect on crime. These people are utterly nuts. They've proven that they are mentally ill. What's being blamed uh, for the crime in that church in South Carolina is A. Guns. That's, no, that's nothing new. And B. The Confederate flag is now being blamed. Never occurs to them that uh, we have a criminal sitting in uh, jail who actually committed a crime. These people don't think that a crime actually committed was committed. Apparently, they're mentally ill. They are insane. Be that as it may, I'd like to plead with you Southerners. Folks, don't give up your culture. You don't want to become like Yankees. I live in what's known as the Finger Lakes region of western New York. And there are good things here, mostly the outdoor stuff. But I'll tell you, uh, you don't want to... This area is like a big prison camp. First of all, the three counties I deal with not so much Ontario County anymore. Uh, Ontario, Monroe, and Livingston, it's like a big prison camp down here. You have the right to live your life as long as you wish, as long as you do it the way you're told. The cops around here... Out where I live, it takes them an hour to get there in an emergency. But they're constantly hanging around town looking uh, to raise revenue with their little Barney Fife speed traps and stuff. And you know, it's a constant hassle. Every night, I'm afraid of deer, I'm afraid of cops, and I'm afraid of tailgaters. It's like 45 minutes of... T uh, terror every night trying to drive home and dealing with all three. The cops won't do anything about tailgaters. They don't care about them. And the deer are all over the place just waiting to spring out at your car. It's like a big prison camp. You can hardly even breathe without somebody uh, breathing down your neck. The women uh, are less and less feminine every year. You know, it used to be you'd have an Irish f festival of girls and women, you know, beautiful Irish outfits, and I always loved that. Well, last time I uh, went to one of those, which was Father's Day, they were wearing. Uh, T-shirts and shorts, for the most part. So they're not even doing anything traditional anymore. Women are less feminine, much less feminine than they used to be. The only place you can see any femininity at all anymore is if you go to church. Or very formal events. The South is known for its grace. Not only, you know, the beautiful Southern Bells, but the men acted much uh, more manly and gentlemanly than they do up here. You know, I catch the radio every now and then from the South, and those are Yankees, frankly. 
Those are Yankees and they're on radio. Um, but some like us, I'm thinking they're broadcasting on New York City or something. So your, your culture is under serious attack. And it's time you uh, uh, stood up and said something. They want to turn you into basically Yankees. Now, I'm not trying to start civil war here, and, but I've seen the photos or drawings or whatever of Richmond when it fell, and I just think that it's really shocking if you looked those photos over because Richmond was basically, I won't say nuked, but it was destroyed like it had been hit by a nuke. Uh, taking com doing away with the Confederate flag is going to have no impact on crime at all. What it's going to do, what they're trying to do, is they're trying to eliminate your culture. They're trying to destroy what's left of Southern culture. They're trying to eliminate that completely. Now, no one wants to bring back slavery. Come on. No one's going to bring back slavery. We're beyond that. There is a Southern culture, and it's being attacked by, essentially, Northeast liberals. I looked up your governor, she is from that state, but man, she talks like a Yankee. I have, I have Confederate flags up on my wall, and I'm a Yankee. Born and bred right here in New York State, you don't get any more Yankee than to be from New York State. It's hell up here. Hank Williams, Hank Williams Jr. is right. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, send them to hell or New York City. Your culture is under attack, and I'm pleading with you southern people to stand up and say no. We're not going to give up our culture... We're going to have our southern bells and our southern gentlemen. We're proud to be southerners. You folks aren't responsible for the crime that happened in that church. Your culture is not responsible. It was one dirt bag. One filthy, filthy maggot that was responsible. But these people have just proven that they're completely insane. Because they're blaming the crime not just on guns, but on the Confederate flag. And any symbol of the South. Utterly insane. And they should be put... Anybody who thinks this way, as far as I'm concerned, should be put into a mental hospital for the rest of their natural lives. Yeah, you can openly sell articles talking about selling gay pride flags and Arabic country flags. And those are okay. But our own cultural heritage? Nope. Can't have that. Wake up, you southerners. I'm pleading with you. Don't let this happen. Don't let this happen. It's time to, for you Southerners to renew 
your culture. Heed the warnings of uh, a song by Dwight Yoakam, I Sang Dixie. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just so sick of this. These people are insane. Your culture is being taken away from you by Northeast liberals. That's the bottom line. I'm Artifax Mars. Liberalism is a mental disorder. These people are mentally ill. That's all I got to say. Don't let it happen, you Southerners.